What's up guys, Tristan Park here, and I'm committed to helping you create better websites or up your web design game. Now it's a Saturday, at the point of this video going out, we're in a pretty strange time. Um, essentially, we can't leave the house because of coronavirus. So with that, I'm about to sit and do a bit of video outreach. I thought I'd take the opportunity to share this with you guys because I know a lot of people are like, nah, I don't need to outreach. I get all of my business through word of mouth. Yeah, man, that's awesome. But what happens when your business dries up because that word of mouth stream has stopped? Now, the thing is, I know that quite a lot of people feel that outreach doesn't work and it's incredibly time consuming or they just actively avoid it. I get it, guys. I actually used to be one of those people. The thought of me having to spend or feel like I was wasting my time upselling myself and selling my services to a business felt like a total waste of time. But the thing is, being a web designer or a digital marketer or a social media marketer or anything within the digital marketing space, the industry is so incredibly saturated that we actually have to outreach. So what can we do to up our chances of having success with our outreach strategy? Multi-platform outreach. This means when you outreach and approach a business, you do this via multiple methods. Sure, you've got emails and I absolutely recommend that you utilize emails in your outreach strategy. Yes, they might be a lot less effective than others, but they're still an important way to target businesses and get yourself out there. Now, on top of emails, you have cold calling. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Cold calling is absolutely terrifying and a load of shit. But despite me not actually liking cold calling myself, I have a partner who is absolutely awesome at cold calling. The benefits of cold calling means that you could have a list of 50 businesses that you want to contact and you can smash through them in well under an hour. The other platforms that you can use are social media. Now you've got Instagram, which actually apparently has the best success rate for when you direct message a business. You also have LinkedIn and Facebook. Thing is with LinkedIn, it's great for finding businesses, but it's also become very spammy, similar to emails, because businesses or business owners are continuously being contacted by other people and pitched to. So if you are gonna look to use LinkedIn as your outreach method, I'd probably try and contact the business and try and stand out a little bit differently to every other business or person that is contacting them. So why does multi-platform outreach work best? Essentially, it's the law of data. If you attempt something multiple times, then you have a higher chance of succeeding in what you're trying to do. Let's say you have a random prospect that you're looking to outreach to. Now, you don't actually know how they best absorb information or even the best way to contact them. They might not answer their phone, they might not answer their emails, but actually they might pick up direct messages from Facebook. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is with multi-platform outreach, you improve your chances of securing a meeting with that person. So remember, the next time you're looking to do outreach, try and contact a business on multiple platforms and hopefully you'll have a much better chance of getting a callback and securing a meeting. Guys, remember to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, it really helps the YouTube algorithm in allowing other people to find my content. Um, I'm committed to helping you guys to create better websites and I have a load of other videos on my channel that allows you to do this. Leave me a comment down below as well if you have any questions or comments and I will be back in touch with you very soon. But for now guys, I will catch you in the next one.